Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Northshark Computer Services and today I'd like to um, show you this Mac that has a popular problem where a headphone jack was broken off and piece of it was left in there. Now there isn't an easy way to get it out so we have to take the computer apart. I'm gonna go through with the procedure on uh, the camera to show you how to fix this problem. Okay, so for that we'll need some tools, kind of a couple of pointy tools, something like this, maybe a curved tool. We'll definitely need a screwdriver. So let's begin by taking out the screws. Now on most Macs, all of the uh, electronic parts are on the inside of the motherboard. <coughs> and uh, phone jack is no exception, where we may have to take the motherboard, motherboard out <coughs> in order to fix this problem. So. Here's a Mac on the inside, nothing unusual, so let's take a look at our headphone jack. So this is the headphone jack. Now you gotta be careful inside this Mac because <coughs> the battery is connected to the board and it's constantly under power. There's one more tool that we're gonna need. It is a strangely shaped screwdriver that Mac uses specifically so that people wouldn't be able to replace their own batteries. Okay, it is shaped like this. It's, got, it's a Phillips screwdriver but it only got three um, angles to it, not four like a normal Phillips. Um, Another thing to watch out for is battery uh, where it's held on to the frame itself. Usually, this just bend it a little bit. Usually, the um, anchors where the battery is held are broken because battery is plastic and. Uh, the frame is aluminum. Aluminum wins. Okay, we got battery disconnected. <clears throat> now we can see there's a piece of that battery anchoring. We can see the uh, phone jack here, but it's completely covered from all sides so opening opening up this MacBook did not help us may have to devise another tactic to get that out and I can assure you people have tried okay there is another problem and the problem is that the frame itself is separate from the internal jack and what happens here is as you try to pull it out it bends slightly and the frame gets in the way the aluminum frame of the Mac itself so uh, do we have to take the board out or not? <clears throat> well, there 
isn't an easy way to get this out. A very interesting problem, I must say. Now, so far I'm just trying to do this without having to pull the board out. But it may not be... Okay. I'm a little bit afraid that we can damage the board. So, we're going to pull it out. So, I'm going to disconnect these cables. All right. There's nothing to be afraid of pulling the motherboard out. Uh, you have to be careful. Disconnecting. Okay. So, make sure. Now, this part here, you have to lift the cable, or lift the latch, and pull the cable out. I've seen people break this because they were just pulling on the cable without lifting the latch. Alright, then we have to get this one out, this one, it's, I think it's a keyboard, this one. As you can see, having the battery out does help, all right, because I'm not afraid of short-circuiting stuff here. Okay, this is the illumination for the keyboard. This is the keyboard itself. I believe this is the fan connector. <clears throat> All right, that's uh, one more. This one just pops. All right. Let's get on. We'll pull the fan out first. Now, if it gets to the point where we have to take apart. Computers to um, pull all these parts out. It's good idea to make sure that the radiator inside of the fan is clean. And as you can see, we get a tweezer. As you can see, this will cause overheating. So we kind of kill two birds with one stone. We're going to get this Mac cleaned out too. Alright, get the screws out. There's a nice little tool that I have. It's called magnetize, demagnetize. If you put the screwdriver into magnetize, then miraculously the screws will stick to the screwdriver. And when I no longer need it, I could demagnetize my tool and uh, the screws will not stick to it anymore. Okay. We have 
the board as we're going. It is a good idea to pull the ram out. I didn't think we needed to, but it might be in the way. Come on. Alright. Okay. Now let's see what I have. Now I believe there is a connection on the other side. Okay, we need to pull the power jack board out. between me and the computer is not that comfy. Okay, yeah, there is another connection in there. And I love Apple for making it easy to pull the board out. And I believe partially this is done so that inexperienced people would inadvertently damage um, the board. Okay, we don't really need to disconnect that other connection. We have our goal right here. So what I'm going to do is open that, give it a little angle, and this is the part that we're going to need. Okay, it's a lot more accessible right now, I believe. We can use one of the pointy tools right here to get it out. All right, this is holy cow. There's only part of it came out. All right. Jubilee was short-lived. Let's see what else can come out. See, the problem here is a phone jack has a small indentation on it so that it's held in um, by the small spring spring type clips inside and that indentation is what makes this job hard or I should say harder than I wish it was okay And unfortunately, there is no easy way to do this. Some computers that I've seen, they have the access from here, so we wouldn't even have to go this far. Um, this one, oh, it's fairly well sealed. Not easy. Yeah, not only is it sealed, uh, it's also soldered to the board on the bottom, so we have to unsolder the connection to get it out. So I'm going to see if I could use one of the tricks. All right, this inside there is a plastic, so what we're going to do is heat up my tip a little bit and see if we can wedge into the plastic. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Well, it helped a little bit. Peace. OK, 
came out, but then I pushed it back in. All right, there it is. That's another piece. So this plastic piece was sitting inside of that metal piece, and that's all insulation inside of the jack. All right, now we have a little more exposure. We can use tiny pliers here to possibly grab onto. All right. It's I'm grabbing it. There. Holy cow. That's another piece. <laughs> this headphone jack is just not willing to come out. I don't believe it. Come on. All right. Here it is. Clear. Wow. This headphone jack is just bad. All right. So this piece was sitting on top of that piece, which in turn was sitting on top of this piece. That's our jack, or piece of it. Unbelievable. All right. Well, now we got it out. <clears throat> we should probably test it. So, testing. We're just going to use a jack. Fits fine. So, there are no obstructions inside. Came out. Alright. So, now let's put it back together. Um, you can see that there is some dust in there. This dust is not really essential. It's not going to cause any problems. Um, on the speaker, there is a little bit of uh, dust and garbage in there. Now, if you have stuff on your speaker, it will jump on it when speaker is working and you're gonna hear, hear crackling and you may think that your board is at fault or your computer or your electronics but it's really just something touching the uh, diaphragm of the speaker itself and uh, simply clearing that up will fix your problem Once again, there is truly no reason for this to be this hard on uh, assembly or disassembly, but manufacturers, not just Mac, all manufacturers choose to make it more complex because this means fewer people will go inside and try to do the work themselves. Um, if they do go inside, come on, most likely they'll damage something. And if you damage something, you kind of um, bang your head and say, oh my god, what did I do? And what are you going to do then? You're going to go and buy another Mac. Why? It wasn't Mac's fault that caused you to, for example, break your earphone jack. It wasn't Mac's fault that when you went inside and tried fixing it, you broke it. Um, no, it wasn't. But I do blame manufacturers for making this so complex. If you look at the advertising about the Mac, this particular Mac, they're uh, boasting about how perfect the machine is. 
and how much time it takes them to, to machine the casing and all the other good things about Mac what you don't hear is how repairable these machines are and although in experienced hands this is not a unusual situation most electronic um, circuits are densely populated um, even for experienced people it does not have to be this um, involved it could be a little simpler All right, just want to make sure okay this is the last screw <coughs> connector cables. This cable is a little tricky to get back in. All right. Really easy to break. Okay. But all right, it's in. And there you go. There. In, and it has to lock. If it locks, and it did, then it's in. Um, <coughs> I did see this, uh, this connector broken. And uh, it is possible to repair resolder that connector although I do not wish it up on anybody to do it okay let's get that in come on little thingy there that's better lock this one Come on. All right, push. Get in there. All right. I believe it's in. You have to make sure that it's in. Okay. And it is not in. So I have to push a little harder. Okay. Alright. Is it in? No, it's not in. This connector is not 